Good morning. This morning I thought I'd uh, get out for a bit with the dog, but I felt compelled to bring my pin all for a change through some of my uh, local woodland. So I have an hour to spare, and what I'm hoping to capture, I have no idea. I'm just going to go with the floor. It started out pretty misty on the top. I don't think it's been dense enough to penetrate the actual tree canopy, which is a bit unfortunate, but to be honest, totally expected around here. Uh, it's rare that you get mist penetrating this part of the woods. But I look forward to seeing what I can try and capture. Now already I'm seeing some difficulty with the, the pinhole choice I've made. I've come out with the, the Reality So Subtle 6.6 and if you look around me now you'll notice there's not much in the way of interesting foreground. Plenty of trees. I'm not normally one to shoot trees but it's part of my, uh, my dog walk so any opportunity that presents itself I'm pretty much ready for. But what it does mean is been no foreground I've got to try and look for something a little larger than life in terms of uh, what you can shoot on the uh, the 6v6 it tends to to really shrink down any subject and you've got to be careful how close you get to things and this is my first roll I'm putting through it and although I know that it's got a super wide angle, I think it's about the equivalent of an 8mm sort of fisheye lens. Um, so, already struggling to find subjects. It's just trees, trees and trees. But what can you expect in the woodland? We'll keep looking. Now I seem to have found myself something to shoot, I'm not entirely sure how it will come out, but you never know until you try these things. And it, it wasn't until I started to look up rather than the usual at ground level and what's lying in front of me for, for interesting subjects. And given that I'm in the woodland, trees is pretty much all I can shoot. So looking up, I have seen this which may be of interest, looking up. I quite like the, uh, the shapes it casts across the sky and I think on a square format it, uh, it'll look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and set up, work, try and work a, a composition and uh, I'll, I'll see what I, I come out with. Oh dear, and he's off. Dog's gone after some deer. Well 
Well, now that uh, Jedson's come back after chasing a deer through the woodland, it didn't take long. He was, he's, he's a little bit slow these days, so it tends to get away a lot quicker. So before I lose track, um, what I just did then, I took a, I meted the, the scene, it was approximately one second for Ilford Panef with a reciprocity of 3.3, so I did approximately a three second exposure and I used the, the top pin all of me, me camera. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll pack up and walk on see if we can find anything else in the last half hour. Okay, I found a, another composition to work with. Pretty much similar to the, the one before, but as with tree canopies, it's all going to be different no matter where you go. So I may start to develop a bit of a, a problem with shooting lots of these, these kinds of things. Um, so just to give you an idea of what I've just found. So as you can see, there's, it's similar to the previous composition, but different in uh, shapes and tree trunks coming across. So it's uh, again on square, Ilford Panef, it's an ESA 50 film. So it'll probably give me the same length exposure as last time because lighting conditions have not changed. It's still pretty misly around here at the moment. But I will say, I've made the mistake of not coming out with any colour film because the trees have taken on this terrific sort of green and blue and with the mist being in the distance it sort of softens the the scene and unfortunately this iPhone won't do it justice um, I mean, as you look around here um, terrific colour shapes of the, the old oak woodland and you can hear, you might be able to hear some of the birds making the morning call. So what I'm going to do now is just set up, similar as before, and we'll see what we'll come away with. Got it. Spirit level, important when you're you're doing funny angles like this because the circular spirit level you just can't get anywhere near. So, on the front. Again, I think I'm going to go with the top hole and I'll count out three seconds for this exposure. I've already got one done. I'm going to clean eight. So, ready, ready. And that's it. The wind on. Don't forget, there has been no for me to forget to wind down and end up with double exposure. And more importantly, remember to write it down so you can refer back to your notes to see what you, you did right or did wrong. That's it. On we go. OK, 
Yeah, man, let's go. There's no more deer. Come on. Well, I found nothing else to, uh, to shoot, and unfortunately, time's running out. Um, but it's nice to be out with the pinnacle. It's not something I do enough of, to be honest. Um, even getting out with the digital cameras becoming a rarity these days. But that's family life. So I'll grab the opportunities I can. And typically this morning was one of those. Trying to combine photography with the dog walk. Uh, and it was nice. It was nice and quiet around here. Not seen another soul at the moment. I think I've seen a couple of dogs earlier helping to chase the deer as well. I hope they've, they've got back to their owners. But I'll keep an eye out for more competitions on the way back, something I can revisit a bit later. I think next time definitely be back with some colour film. Because like I said before, the, the colour, it may be muted but I think it's going to be better than shooting on black and white like I have done. It's going to give it something a bit more uh, rather than relying on the, the textures and shapes. Uh, and to be honest on on the reality so so it's it's not one to to shoot subjects which are in the distance as it tends to miniaturize it but if I first roll on it it's all all an experimental thing and I always look forward to, to getting them back and seeing what I've what I've got and how I can improve on them uh, so yeah hopefully uh, Got a couple of couple of nice shots. If not, it was time well spent outdoors. Thanks for watching.